Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 2. Now I'm not going to outright say this finale because I don't know what the last stretch is going to be. Last episode, I tried to get more of the uh, missing items that I did not get. And after a while, I was like, I'm not feeling this anymore. So we're just going to go ahead and finish the game. If that means I don't get, like, the extended ending, so be it. Oh dear. This data nut contains some rather disturbing information. Boss Cass has been building a diabolical machine. A machine capable of sucking the warm bloodedness out of mammals and transferring it into reptiles. Crikey! Those are the buff headed new lizards I've been seeing around the place. These warm-blooded uber-lizards are bigger, stronger, and faster. Cass is making an unstoppable army so he can take over southern rivers and eventually the world. Strife! But isn't Cass going to need a lot of us mammals to make an army that big? Exactly. Which is why we need to move fast. What the... Baramudgy is under attack! Oh great, so now I gotta deal with these guys myself? Well, that explains why there's explosive boxes. <laughs> I like how the music is still, like, normal. Given that we're dealing with uber lizards again. I gotta wait for this thing to come back. And you're done. Yep. I don't believe it. Cass has kidnapped the entire town. Look, he left a note. What does it say? Dear Ty. <laughs> There's still time to save him, mate. Go on, get cracking. Oh, looks like I aboard this uh, jet over here. Almost looks like a TIE fighter. Let's do it, sir. Let's face off against that cad boss, Cass. Hey, wait up, possum. You're not leaving without me. Or me. It's time for me to pay back an old debt. All right, how the hell is this going to go? Is this just going to be like a shooter section? Well, there was a reason we had this runway. Why does it look like part of the jet's gonna fall right off? It was just vibrating. Is it? Oh, you think wow, that's cool? I got a better one. Yours is really cool. What is it? It's a missile bunyip. I built it myself. Who with a little help from Julius? Rightio, chaps. We're over the drop zone. Prepare to engage. Is that a shadow bunyip? Sounds like you've got bunyip in be sly. Hmm, <laughs> don't worry. I like yours too. Look out, incoming. Okay, for a moment there I thought, do I have to play as all three of them at some point? Okay, I still do like regular punches. And it looks like my uh, attack power does not auto charge. Same as like the regular play that Mac does. I wonder what happens if I do get it to full power though. What kind of attack could it do? Oh, they got turrets. Oh, but my jumping is really high. Holy crap. I had no idea it was this high. Oh, oh, apparently B is a, is a laser blast. And you can't shoot the turrets, it looks like. Oh, okay, if you hold B, you're charging power that you release to a laser. 
Okay, I really like that. Oh. God dang it. Why'd you have to flank me? Get out of here, you damn trees. Okay, can I actually charge my power without being interrupted? Thank you. Okay, even with this kind of weaponry, we can't do anything against turrets. Might as well take out the uh, pilots of them. The operators. Whoa! They got mortars now. Oh no, it's just these little cannon dudes. That hit me from so far. Damn. Alright, guess we're going up through the sewer system. It looks like a sewer system to me. It feels like we're just in the never never. Now what? Looks like Cass doesn't want us to leave. Strange! What in the world is that? It's Patchy! He's a cybersaw! <laughs> He'll be sore after we finish with him. Why are we facing you patchy again? Oh. Okay, I guess I should just move. <laughs> so I guess you gotta punch him in the head. That's what it looks like to me. Or hit him in the tail. Oh, this is gonna be a bit harder to hit. Okay, now you gotta go after the uh, missile base. Oh, I didn't charge enough power. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. It's a bit harder to hit with your fist, so you have to, like, almost use your laser. Let's move it. Oh no. Some nanobots. Stop us, does he? So this is just a boss rush. Oh. oh. God, I keep getting like the wrong aim at the worst time. Okay, can you actually, like, uh, open up your core again? Please and thank you. Of course, he won't open it now. Maybe I have to wait for him to get close. No, he's just looking away from me! What the hell? Oh my god! It just locked onto me. I couldn't even do anything! Okay, release your core. Thank you. Okay, you do a lot of damage, so there's a plus. But maybe the laser is useless for this. So I shouldn't bother with it. Like, it was just walking away from me, so I couldn't even hit the core. Okay, is this thing gonna rematerialize? Thank you. Come on. Show me your core. It only takes two hits. Wow. How did I lose to this guy the first time? But then again, I was on really low health. Hello. And goodbye. <laughs> Laser doesn't reach all the way up there. I guess you can only have as much range as you possibly could without it being too broken. Hey, where'd the other two go? They're still behind. Oh, guess I'm doing this by myself after all. Let me guess, I gotta face Fluffy again. 
Oh, how'd you guys get ahead of me? That shouldn't be possible. What? Get out of here, you scums. Okay, looks like we're getting close to the hideout. Yep, that's Boss Cass's emblem all over the place. How did I take over this so fast? Are we technically still in Piramudgy? Or are we just knee deep into Cassopolis? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, how did that Phil Lizard survive that, that couple of hits? Oh, wait a minute! There were cogs here too? So you can get collectibles in the last stretch of the game? Huh? That's an oddity right there. Well, okay, well, no complaints. So maybe we are in the Never Never. But it doesn't say. I just gotta go this way, I believe. Alright guys, we can just ignore those frill lizards. Let's just go. Closing in at the end of this place. Uh, if it's just like a little boss rush and then the final boss, this could very well be the finale. Really? That's all you got? <laughs> These jerks right here? They actually killed themselves! Wow! Just wow, that's pathetic! Swat, Shazza! See if you can free the Baramachi Tannies! I'm going after Kess! No worries. What is it, Chesa? Be careful. Okay, Possum? I'll be right. Hey, Chesa! Hey, look See you around like a Rizzo. Well, at least I didn't get off this thing. My nose is red. Yourself, Cass. You mess with me, mate. You mess with me. Oh, great! Boss Cass has a bunch of Joltix. Oh dear. So I guess I can't let those things touch me, and I just have to keep hitting Boss Cass. Ow. Okay, the laser is not a good idea because I have to be stationary when I shoot it. Oh, I missed. Right, let's try the lock on. Oh, so I have to jump in. Oh god, what is going on? I really slowed down before these things got to me. Did you see how much health I lost in that one attack? I'm almost better off just not being in this thing. Alright, next phase. Oh dear, now you got a bunny up too. Really? You have invincibility? Come on, I'm punching your glutes! How is this not working? I'm dead. <laughs> okay, we're back. Whoa, okay. Okay, so I have to hit him in the head after he does the slam. Really? Oh, 
Or maybe it's the light on his back. I don't know if you can hit him when he spins. No! So if you're knocked off, it's an instant death no matter how much health you have. Oh, lessons were learned today. Yeah. Oh wow, that's two hits consecutively. Okay, my jump dropped. I don't know why. So now I have to wait through like two spins and then he slams again. Looks like I just jump on his head when I do that. Feels so weird. Yeah, see that? Like, I don't know if I was, like, onto his body when that happened. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay, I thought I couldn't hit him there. And there goes his mech. He's still not done. I see platforms. Let me guess. I gotta drop down. Now he's got a force field. Oh, but he shoots it off. Wait! He has infinite glow! So I have to shoot him! Oh god! It's... That still hits me? Okay, I guess I gotta start jumping. Yeah, I think the laser might be the only way to hit him now. Unless I was just inaccurate the previous time. I'm dead! I almost had him. I mean, really, with the deadly ring, I could probably fight him better without this one yet. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Oh my god, it still hits me! have one rock left. Fudge! Okay, throw your other two rocks. Maybe I could punch him, but I'd rather not. Like, come on! You can't outrun it. it! It knows where you're going. And if I go back, the other rocks from behind me will get me anyway. Is that it? I thought he had one more hit to go. Oh. Oh, wow. Bush rescued. Ow! It's either Cass. You heard the man. Hey, hey, hey! It was all a bit of fun. I hope I wasn't out of line with that crack about turning your friends into ice cubes. I tell you what, I'll make you a deal. How about you join my team, huh? I could use a couple of good men. Easy work, good money, and nice jackets. Fat chance, Cass. We're taking you in. Oh, it's just not fair. Mm, most unfortunate. <laughs> And, for extremely selfless acts of bravery, I am proud to present these medals made of the most exquisite thunder eggs to Sly, Shazza, and Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger! Oh yeah, I forgot about the thunder eggs. They were like the collectibles in the first game. Meanwhile... This is 
out, humiliating. We hope you enjoy playing the Tide Tasmania 2. Oh, I didn't get to read that. So that's it! That's Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 2 Bush Rescue for the PC. What did you guys think about this game? I thought it was okay for what it was. For me, it was definitely better than the first Tie the Tasmanian Tiger in terms of, you know, like item collecting and things like that. Because at least you could go back to levels and your progress was still saved. Things, you know, stuff like that. Like, you didn't have to get like hundreds of stuff. Like, maybe at most 10 things, not counting the photographs. Now, it did have some issues. Well, like, this HD, like, port, so to speak. It was a little bit, you know, unstable at points. To the point I even had a couple game crashes. One of which, in the middle of recording. And people were telling me, like, you could just play the GameCube version, because it's a lot more stable. Look. I don't have the GameCube version, or the PlayStation 2 version, I guess there was an Xbox version as well. I don't have those. So the PC version, you know, for all its, a uh, little bit of flaws, that was the only version I had. And same way with Ties 3 and 4. Which I might eventually do, but just not right after this. So my next Let's Play after this, I haven't decided, in, you know, by the time I'm recording this, which is on a Wednesday. But you guys will find out through social media and my Discord whenever I find out what I'm going to be doing. So in that case, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I shall see you next time. Oh, I didn't realize that the Y button skips the credits altogether. That's a my bad moment. So we finished the game overall with 97%. Hey, I will take that for sure. So it says I missed a mission somewhere. I wonder where that was. Oh, you know what it was? It was probably all, all the spies. Yeah, I still need to do those. That might be what it is. Yeah, because I'm missing one. Oh, well, that was as good as I was going to get. Like, 12 hours of gameplay. Can't go wrong with that. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.